This is a story of one of the world's most remarkable beliefs about the scars on the face of the moon as seen with the naked eye from the African continent. It's a tale of a legend of the Igbo tradition passed from one generation to another about what transpired between man and the heavens before the dawn of civilization. Thou shalt not farm on this day, goes the legend. Neither shalt thou perform burial nor wedding on this day. But worship the gods of your kindred, and you shall see the full moon again. The villages of Umweze observed this tradition for centuries, until Eke, the descendant of the gatekeepers, went to harvest palm on this sacred day. His action was perceived to be rebellious by the gods, who eventually struck him down with thunder and captured his image with lightning and pasted it on the face of the moon to serve as a deterrent to others. And lo, the birth of thunder, lightning, and the image of rebellious Eke on the surface of the moon. This fateful day eventually got named after him, Eke. Although it's mostly attributed to the biblical verse found in Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 that reads, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Generations of Igbos conserved this tradition in disguise by choosing to stay off their means of livelihoods on Saturday or Sunday. In reality, the different shades of grain seen on the moon's surface when viewed from afar is as a result of geological formations, different soil composition, and uncountable numbers of craters created by heavy bombardment by the asteroids, especially in the early days of moon formation. But the Igbos are not alone in reading the writings on the fabric of the universe in such a dramatic way. The ancient Greek thought that the moon, known as Selene, is a distant world overflowing with oceans of water, just like planet Earth. They believed that the dark patches considered by the Igbos to be the image of Eke are seas and lakes on the moon's surface. They went ahead to name their imaginary seas in such a fascinating way that the patch that should be Eke's head is called the Sea of Serenity, while his axe, the Sea of Fertility. As far as the Greek mythology is concerned, Selene is the goddess that rules the night when the sun has retreated. She visits Earth in eight phases every month, which is the period she enriches the Earth with new potentials and possibilities. Today, astronomers have suitable names for remarkable craters on the lunar surface. The most visible crater seen with the naked eye on the face of the moon in tidal lock with Earth is the Tycho Crater. Other identifiable craters are Kepler, Aristarchus, and Copernicus. So when next you read about fascinating features on the moon's surface, remember this. Thousands of generations in many tribes around the world have wondered in awe, why is the moon up there? And have arrived at various fascinating conclusions to satisfy their curiosity. The only question that remains is, what do you think? What are your stories? Does your tribe have a narrative that tells why the moon rules the night? Share this with us. We will be most grateful to hear from you. Kindly promote this channel with a click on the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Your support will go a long way in helping us make better videos for you. Thank you.